Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This is your middle aged guy. My name is AJ and for those of you guys who are new to this channel, thank you very much for joining us today. And if this video has been helpful in any way, I would really appreciate it if you can hit that like and subscribe button and maybe hit that bell icon as well so that you will be notified of any new videos coming in from our channel. And as you can see, I have here with me the CPU that we built a few weeks ago. And if you're interested in that video, I will leave the link of that video up here. So what are we doing with this PC today? Since we finished building it a few weeks ago, I was actually trying to see what upgrades, small upgrades that I can do with this CPU. And uh, one of the things that caught my eye is to be able to monitor the temperature and some of the basic details of my CPU and my GPU. And this is where this little guy comes in. So this little guy is the Turing Smart Screen 5-inch IPS panel. So this is a screen where we can be able to display and see all our core temperatures for our CPU and GPU and some other details about uh, our PC as well. So this caught my eye because it's actually quite simple based on the description to set it up and to be able to use it. And I know that there are a lot of other IPS panels that can give you more details about your PC like your FPS and all the other de small details. But I was actually looking for something a little bit less complicated. And that's why I chose to buy this Turing 5-inch smart screen. This smart screen comes in two colors, black and white. But since we have the whole white build over here, I chose the white IPS screen. And today, we will be unboxing this 5-inch smart screen with you guys. And we will set it up and see what kind of details we can set up in order for us to monitor the levels of the temperature in our CPU. So are you guys ready? Let's go! So let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. Okay, so from the inside, we can see that we have our 5-inch screen right here. So this is the 5-inch screen that we are going to use. And it also includes a mounting bracket with one screw and also a little stand. Hmm. Okay, so it means that if you don't want to mount it, you can actually just put it something like this or like this okay i guess it depends on how you want to use this and it also comes with two cables as i read from the description you can actually use uh, either of these cables you don't need to use both of them so you can use just one of them so one is to go directly to your motherboard to connect to one of the usb headers and this other side is to connect to this connection on top of here okay or if you want and you just want to display this uh, nearby your uh, monitor or somewhere you can easily see uh, maybe that's why they have this stand so maybe you can just put it like this and just use this USB-C cable to plug it on this side and just plug it to any port USB port on your CPU. And once you do that, it should power up your screen. Quite simple enough. As for the accompanied software of this, uh, they don't actually have a website, but it's just like a Google Drive that they have given in the instructions for us to download. So we'll check it out and we'll download it and we'll see what we can do and set up with the software given for this Turing 5-inch smart screen. Okay guys, so now that we have downloaded the file from uh, the website given to us uh, for this 5-inch uh, smart screen, we just need to extract this. And once we have extracted this, we just need to open this file up. And you can see this application called USB Monitoring L.exe. So we should open this file. Once we have opened this file, it will try to connect to our 5-inch screen and it will show us uh, this user interface. So from this home tab, uh, we'll be able to see uh, our different kinds of theme that we have. So it depends on 
your choice of theme they have already some built-in themes by the way all these themes you can find it under the same folder under theme and you'll be able to uh, see all these uh, themes that you have already pre-installed for you by Tour ZX. okay so for example i chose the theme for uh, we have here spider-man so once we click spider-man we just need to click run and it will connect to our device and it will render our application with all the details of our GPU usage, CPU usage, and they, all our temperatures onto our 5-inch screen. But if you want to change another theme, uh, you need to stop. And we need to find, for example, a new one. Like, for example, this one, if you want to run this, connect it, and it will, pre it will prepare all the details and it will send it over to our 5-inch screen. And again, if you want to change to another one, we just need to change it uh, to the ones that we have, for example. Choose this uh, ROG simple one. Okay, and if you want to see some of the other details of uh, this application, uh, first of all, we need to stop. Uh, running our application before we can jump onto any other uh, tabs that we have here. So for devices, uh, we'll be able to see all the details of our uh, machine. If we do a refresh storage here, we'll be able to see our version, our uh, internal uh, memory, and uh, if we installed a memory card, the uh, memory card that we have installed, the details of it. And uh, on this side, on the right side, if we want to see all the videos loaded in our SD card or internal, we can choose which one we want here. For example, in, uh, in my SD card, I have uh, one piece uh, JPEG there. Okay, and uh, be able to see if there's any video, you can also see here. If you want to add or upload a video or an image, this is also where you do it. You just click upload and then you choose which video or which image that you want to upload. And also in this portion, we'll be able to see uh, the startup start mode. So it will either be a default mode, which will be the stock uh, image from uh, Tour ZX. And uh, if you want to play your own image or images, you need to uh, choose this one. Or if you want to play the video under the under the video card, then it will choose this one. If you have an SD card installed, it will always play whichever is in your SD card. But if you remove the SD card, whatever it is on your internal video or image, that's the one that they will run. Okay, so just take note of that one. And under settings, uh, this is where we uh, set up all our uh, the details that we want to use uh, when we do our editing of our theme. So this one is pre-populated uh, for you guys. So you don't need to change anything on this unless you really want some specific changes when you do the editing of your theme. Which I will show you later. Okay, so for uh, this one, the CPU name, GPU name, and how many uh, memory that you have. Uh, if this is checked auto, it will get it from your system details and it will populate it properly here. If you want to manually change it, up to you. You can remove this and you can change the name of the CPU if you want. Even if you installed a Ryzen there, uh, if you want to put an Intel as the name, it's totally up to you. Okay, and uh, here, uh, the checkbox for auto startup, this one is automatically enabled. It means that uh, next time that your PC boot up, uh, this application will uh, automatically run and it will start uh, the reading of your CPU details and uh, all the temperatures. Okay, and uh, if you want to change the uh, temperature into Fahrenheit, you can also choose it here. Okay, and any changes you need to make, after you make the change you just press save and lastly for the themes so we have the themes editor here so for example we want to load a theme and we want to change something so for example the spider-man spider-man theme so this is a horizontal theme so to view it properly you just need to change the orientation here to horizontal okay so once we have it we can change all of these details Whatever it is, either status bar for the GPU, 
Like for this one, or this one, whatever it is, it will be here. You can delete, copy, add, whatever. And if you want to add an element, text, data, status bar, you can choose which one you want to add here and then add element. And then you can edit it as much as you want. Then once you're done, you just uh, either you change it to the same name or a different name and then press save theme. Okay, once you're done, you just go back to home and just choose the theme that you have edited or added and it should show right here on this list down here. Okay, so guys, there you have it. That's a simple orientation and uh, all the settings that we need for our 5-inch screen. The Turing Smart Screen 5-inch IPS Panel ARM Cortex Dual Processor Screen. There you have it guys, the Turing 5-inch smart screen. So as you can see, we have already installed it in our CPU and it's running. Uh, we can see our CPU percentage usage, the temperature, our GPU, and all the other small stuff that we have configured in our software. I mounted uh, this 5-inch uh, screen into one of the screws for our fans. And for the cables, uh, it, I'm using the uh, USB header cable. So we just uh, rounded that up uh, behind uh, to the motherboard and to the uh, USB header below. That's where we connected it. So now, if it's really inside your PC, nice to have that option to use the USB header as a connection for your 5-inch screen. But again, you also still have the uh, USB-C cable included in the package where if you want to just place the 5-inch the screen somewhere near your monitor, so that's also an option for you guys. Again, this 5-inch screen display is just for basic functionalities. If you want a more detailed functionalities, there are a lot more different kinds of uh, LCD IPS panel screens that you can use, which uh, includes a Raspberry Pi uh, processor in there to give you more details uh, about your uh, PC, including your FPS and all those things. And uh, But for us uh, guys who just want to have something to look at some basic functionalities, some basic information about our temperatures in our CPU and our GPU, I think this is a good choice. And it's something like you start it up, you set it up, and then you forget about it. So what do you think? Is a Turing 5-inch smart screen for you? If you like this product and you want to get your own, I will leave the link in the description below. Thank you guys for joining me again and I really appreciate all the support that we are getting on this channel. And if you are not one of those who are subscribed to this channel yet, I invite you to just like this video and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you will get notified every time we get a new video up on this channel. Thank you guys for joining and again, if you have any comments, any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. And if you have any more suggestions of things you want to see in this channel, just leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.